Okay. We're rolling. Okay. This is an interview with William Boyce. Uh, it's a home interview in Albany, New York. It is the 28th of October, 2003, approximately 1 p.m. Interviewers are Mike Russert and Wayne Clark. Could you give me your full name, date of birth, and place of birth, please? William J. Boyce. I was born in Saratoga Springs, New York, uh, uh, Beekman Street. When were you born, sir? 1923. Okay. Um, what was your educational background prior to entering service? Uh, high school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you remember where you were? And your reaction when you heard about Pearl Harbor? Well, I was, uh, I was someplace. Were you at the movies or listening to what? Uh, uh, I, I think I was on the way. To uh, uh, doing uh, that, my friend and I, Perry Beardsley, were going to. Uh -huh. Did you hear it on the radio, or did someone tell you about it? Someone told me about it. Uh -huh. Do you remember what your reaction was when you heard about that? Why well, uh, reaction? And how you felt about it? Why, well, probably the same as most people. Okay. Um, did you enlist or were you drafted into the Navy? I enlisted. Why did you pick the Navy? Well, I picked the Navy because the Navy was, uh, I think, Probably the Navy was, uh... Did you have any family members that had been in the Navy? During World no, War One, brother, brother and I were at, at the same ship. Mm -hmm. We're two ships. We were on together. The Franklin Bell was the first one about a year, uh -huh. and the second one was the U USS Thetis Bay, which was a Kaiser coffin. Oh, one of the the small carriers. Yes. Yeah, uh-huh, escort carrier. The escort carrier. Okay. Um, where did you go for, now you enlisted in July of 42, where did you go for your basic training? Uh, Great Lakes, Illinois. Okay, and how long were you there, do you remember? We were there for service school. I went to the service school and uh, I don't know about 20, 20 weeks or 30 weeks. We started in July. We ended in March, February. Mm -hmm. February. So that. So. Okay, now uh, it says that you were an electrician. Did you have it? Where did you go for your electrician's training? The Great Lakes, Illinois. Oh, so you did the same, did that there? Yes. Okay. Um, when were you assigned a ship? Well, we got to, we shipped out from, we signed a ship from, uh, Was your brother in school with you? Did yes, you? yes. At the same time, you we were on a Eddie. Uh, oh my God! I 
can't think of his name. A. P. Body, mm -hmm. banjo player. We were on a great uh, Navy program, WLS Chicago. Oh. Great Lakes, Illinois. Uh -huh. Now, what kind of instrument did you play? We played the guitar. Uh huh. At the time we were singing, I didn't play the accordion until I was 28 years old. Oh, okay. So while you were in the Navy, you just played the guitar and yes, sang. Yes. What kind of uh, music did you play and sing? Country. Country music mostly. Hmm. Coming from Sar Saratoga, you played country music, huh? Yes. Ah, that's interesting. Now, did you entertain? Yes. Uh, we, on, on the ship? We, we were entertainers before we went in the service. Mm -hmm. We went up the Great Lake Herd to the uh, So you went to the Great Lakes to entertain before you were in the in the Navy? In the Navy uh, before we went to the North North uh, Creek mm -hmm. or Above North Creek, Fulton Chain of Lakes, Fulton Chain. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, when were you assigned to the Franklin Bell? I think we got to San San Francisco. Mm -hmm. What kind of ship was the Franklin Bell? Was a, a transport troop transport. Okay. How long were you on the bell? About a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but your brother was on there with you, you yes. said. Okay. Um, were you involved? Now, you were involved in the landings at Tarawa? Were you on the bell when? Uh, no, we are on the Thetis Bay. Oh, okay. Transport. When, okay, uh, while you were on the, tar the uh, Franklin Bay. Bell, what did you do? Well, an electrician's mate, I was first class mm -hmm. when I got through. Mm -hmm. uh, what Was the bell involved in any uh, naval no. actions or? No. No, okay. Uh, so most of the action you saw, you were in the Thetis Bay? Yes. Okay. Uh, we went to the Aleutian Islands. To Kiska, Tarawa. Okay, now when you were up in the the Aleutians, uh, you were at Kiska. Kiska and Atu, were you involved? Atu, Atu, and Kiska. Now your carrier uh, provided air support for those? We would, I don't know, we're. I don't know if it was air support. Okay. Um, now, when you went down to Tarawa, did your ship provide air support there? The Thetis Bay? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, now, you mentioned here that you found dead German and, or Japanese and American soldiers floating. Where was that? Uh, Tarawa. Was it? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we were. <coughs> I remember standing watching the electric shop down below. And they'd bring the corpse in after, one after the other and put my reefers down there. There was a door for the. was right by our shop. Lecture shop, and I remember. Were you able to uh, watch any of the fighting from from aboard ship? No. No. Where did 
did you uh, what did you do after you were involved in those actions? We went to Dry Dock in Hawaii. Uh -huh. Come back on the I can't think of the name of the ship. Uh -huh. You said your your ship was in for dry dock. Was was it damaged at all? Any? No, it barnacled siding and uh, not that I know of that was that, that damaged. Uh -huh. So you were discharged in December of 1945? Yes. Okay, what did you do after being discharged? I went back to GE, General Electric Company, uh -huh. Schenectady. Okay. Um, did you ever use the GI Bill? No. How about the 5220 Club? No, right? I didn't use that. You just went right back to work? Right. Uh -huh. What did you do with GE? Well, electrician mate. And I last, I was environmental testing at Malt Test Station. Um, did you ever join any veterans organizations? No. No? Did you ever stay in contact with anyone that you were in, no. the, with in the Navy? No. Okay. Uh, how do you think your, do you think your time in the Navy changed or affected your life in any way? No, I don't think so. Uh -huh. But you, you did get uh, trained as an electrician, which helped you later on at, at General Electric? Yes, yes. Okay. okay, well, thank you very much for your interview. That's quite all right. Thank you, sir. So, with me, uh, two ships, uh, and uh, that's about it. Now, was your brother an electrician also? Yes. Okay. He was an electrician mate. In fact, I was slated to go to the hospital corps first, and then he wanted to go to the electrician mate school, and Eddie Peabody is the one that set us up with that. Uh-huh. Great Lakes, Illinois. Now, after the war, did your did your brother work as an electrician? Did he go yes. to GE? Did he work at he GE? He worked at GE, and then he was in business for himself afterwards. Okay. But both of you continued as musicians yeah, together after yeah. the after the war. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, sir. Yes. Thanks. Quite all right.